Clover is pleased to introduce Trace and Create Bag Templates with Nancy Zeman, featuring the Town & Country Bag Collection, six styles in one versatile template. To feature Clover's unique new product, here's Nancy Zeman. My friends at Clover and I have worked together to create the Trace and Create Bags, the Town & Country Collection. It's a collection of six bags made with an adaptable set of templates. The sewing is simple. The results are very rewarding. Clover's Trace and Create templates hold the keys to create the following town and country styles. The Suburban Bag. The Suburban Plus Bag. The Metro Bag. The Metro Plus Bag. The Cosmo Bag. And the Cosmo Plus Bag. Let's look at all the fabric options to create your version of the Trace and Create Bag. Consider using vinyls or upholstery fabrics, beefy cottons, some faux leathers. For linings, I like to work with heavyweight batiks, some acetate fabric, or working with rayons, silk, cottons, and then you'll also need coordinating ribbon or fabric trim made with a Clover's Bias Tape Maker. Add personality to your bag with Clover's specialty handbag hardware and notions. The straps are easily made with a fusible perforated product called Create a Strap. O and D rings plus the magnetic snap closures provide a finished touch to your bag. If you're creating any of the plus style bags with a base, use Clover's Shape and Create. Plus, use the double sided basting tape. These are specialty notions that will add shaping to the base of your bag. The Trace and Create templates are a multi-style designing tool. They're color-coded for easy use. It's a terrific new concept. I know you'll enjoy using it. So easy to use. The six images of the Town & Country collection are printed on the face of template A. The highlighted colors, the color coding, indicate which outlines to follow. For example, the Metro bag has shaping with pink darts. Those pink lines are color-coded on the side of the template to show the dart shaping. The Cosmo bag is shaped with lots of pleats along the side. Those pleats or tucks are also in green along the side of the template with die-cut areas. All of the plus bags in the right column are shaped with a closure, a template closure with a tab. This template C gives that shaping. These bags also have a base. The base is template B, where you'll be cutting and creating fabric as well as shaping material. The first step is to cut rectangles from your outer fabric, lining, as well as interfacing. After fusing the interfacing to the wrong side of the outer fabric, the creative process begins. Here's one of the large fused layers of fabric. I have the center line marked on the interfacing side, and I'm going to place the template along the center line. I'm going to make the Metro Plus bag and trace the die cutouts for this particular bag. I'm tracing according to the drawing along the side and then at the dart. Just follow the color coded markings from the design. I'm also going to mark the snap placement, then flip over the template, align it again to the center marking and trace the same cutout areas. You'd repeat these markings and tracings on the lining piece. And presto, it has been lined. Here are the same drawings on the lining piece. This bag also has a lower shaping, a base shaping. I've traced half of the bag shape already to the bag shaping rectangle and then trace the other half. The final tracing is to trace for the tab closure. After tracing your bag shape to the fabric, match it to the corresponding other layer of fabric, pin together and you're ready to cut. As you can see, the cutting is simple. Just cut along the trace lines. 
You'll be glad to know that I wrote the instructions so that you can easily create a bag in an evening. Here are some of the sewing highlights. The sewing steps are very simple. Depending upon which style you're creating, you'll be putting the lining pieces together, the outer bag pieces together, then meeting wrong sides together. There are no difficult turning steps. Next, it's time to create the straps. Press create a strap to the wrong side of the fabric strip. Fold along the perforations. Then apply ribbon or fabric trim over the raw edges. This sample has been stitched on both sides of the fabric trim. The D or O rings are then attached to the lower edge of the straps to give your bag personality and great style. If you're making one of the three plus bags with the expanded base, you're going to be using clovers, shape and create. On template B, you'll be cutting out the shape and create following the inner die cut lines. This sample has been cut. Behind the sample I have the double-sided tape. Remove the paper backing and then apply to the base fabric. Then stitch close to the edge and you're ready to continue the sewing. Three of the town and country bags feature a zipper closure. Use a traditional zipper and stitch ribbon or fabric trim on either side of the zipper. Almost instantly you have a decorative zipper from classy to a casual look. If you choose to add a tab closure, a magnetic snap is attached to the tab as well as to the bag. The snap placement markings are on the template. Remember, there's no guesswork. The inside of all the plus bags are finished with ribbon or fabric trim. Like all the sewing, simple straight stitching is all that's needed to create any trace and create bag. I've just shown you some of the creative options of working with the trace and create bags, the town and country collection. As you know, there are many other options to add personality to your bag. I'm sure you can't wait to get started. Clover's Trace and Create Bags with Nancy Zeman featuring the Town and Country Bag Collection is available through Clover's website. Order today.